Working parents, this one's for you. For the past six years, I have been a divorced and full-time employed working mom. I share custody of my kids who are 10 and 13 with their stay-at-home homeschooling Dynamo dad. I hear about the classes that they take after they take them, and I try and stay abreast of what they're doing, but I'm pretty much a bumbling mess when it comes to really knowing what they're doing with their schooling. But recently, all of that changed. It started with a large poster board and a grumpy 10 year old. My ex dropped him off at my house and they had just finished reading Around the World in 80 Days. And he had this project where he had to pick five places that he wants to go in the world and he had to put pictures of them on the poster board. They had already printed the pictures up. The rest was up to me. Oh, how my heart sang. I have waited 10 years to do something like this with him. The moment was here. I think I took flight. Think of um, Wendy and Michael and John in, in Peter Pan. Like, think of a wonderful thing. It's the same as having wings. That was me. I think I left the ground for a second. Like I also pictured like Mary Poppins floating. I was so tickled. It was time for me to shine. You see, my mom was the master of all things art project. She could draw, she could paint, she could sew. That woman could use the scissors like it was nobody's business. She was a master. I remember endless projects that she made beautiful and fun, even if I hated the thing that I had to do a report on. She once made real curtains on my poster board on a project I had to do about the weather. Like it looked like a real window. It was amazing. I inherited some of her flair, but all of her enthusiasm. So what I lack in skill, I make up for in excitement. My little man and I dove right in and I could tell that he just wanted to get it over with. Oh no, I thought that's not how this is gonna go down. This party is just getting started. I worked quickly to hold his interest because I know that the attention span of 10 year olds is not so good. I instantly seized on the idea to color code each of the five places that he wanted to visit and create a background for each of them. Done. He loved the idea. I gave him some scissors to cut the frames for each of the pictures. He cut jagged lines. I didn't care. He was having a good time. I didn't have time to find the lefty scissors. It, we made do. The pictures that my ex had printed up were printed on normal printer paper, so the glue started showing through. Darn it. Fortunately, I realized this after I had pasted two pictures on, so I had time to find a less wet glue so that the rest of them weren't as bad. I used stickers to cover up my boo-boos on the first two pictures, and I emphasized to my son how we all make mistakes, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's keep going. We had a blast. He got to choose his five colors, and he used lines and arrows to show where he wanted to go in Italy, in Greece, in China, Japan, and Australia. I got really excited because I thought some glitter would be pretty here and there on the poster board, and he said, no glitter, mama. Okay, fine, so no glitter. Maybe next time. He was so proud of his work. I mean, he was smiling ear to ear. He hugged me, he thanked me. Wow, this is what it feels like. I am so proud that I have a job. I am grateful that I support my family, but I also realized that like this moment is priceless. You know, this, this relationship, you can't, you can't quantify that. This, this moment is so special. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Wait for it. The very next day, unrelated, my firstborn son, the 13 year old, asked me to help him with his Halloween costume. He asked me for help. He wanted a steampunk costume. He wanted a hat, vest, pants, a mask, the whole bit. Again, I left the ground. I felt touched by an angel. I live for crafting things, but my ex is typically the one who gets to do it because he's the stay at home parent. But this year, I got to take out my button collection, my sewing box, my box of useless objects, which finally came in handy. Finally, my son understood that my penchant for collecting useless objects, which is a feature of my obsessive compulsive disorder, is a trove, a cornucopia of items such as little tiny light bulbs and gears and, and weird little wires and all of the things that we got to use to make an awesome steampunk costume. I could not be more honored 
to hold a doctorate in neuroscience from UCLA and to be on the number one comedy in America. But darn it if I didn't feel like a natural woman holding that glue gun and crafting away while my son stood next to me with his little hand on my shoulder saying, that looks so cool, mama. These children know me as the full-time working mom. The mom who's always on the phone, the mom who's always checking her email or texting or, or rushing away to take a conference call, the mama who's always saying one second and then forgets that she said one second. But for one weekend, I was more than that. I was, I was competent. I was available for their needs in a way that I don't usually get to be. I can do so many things. And, and being a mom means being more than one thing at a time. But when I was managing rubber cement and, and construction paper and boo-boos and tiny gears and, and clocks, I was the only thing that I didn't go to school for and I was performing at the only job that I walk into every day not knowing if I'm even able to do right. I was being mom. And I know that I am mom enough for those boys of mine. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends. And let me know how you make it work as a working parent. Thanks for watching. See you next time.